Dear friends, this week's Torah portion is Matos Mase. This week we will be finishing the fourth book of the Torah, Bamidbar, or in English called Numbers. And one of the things that are discussed in this week's Torah portion is Hashem telling the Jewish people that you should know Moshe says, God has taken you into the land of Israel. And a prerequisite, an important note that you have to make when you come into Israel is that you're going to conquer the land from people that live there. And yes, as a Jew, you may be merciful. You may want to leave them live amongst you and not to chase them out of the land or destroy everything that they built in terms of idol worship. But you may say, this looks nice, it's a nice addition, so I will use it for idol worship, who cares what they used it for. God said, destroy anything connected to idol worship. Get rid of the idol worshipers. We have to start with the clean slate. I'm bringing it to the land of Israel, but I want it free of any idol worship. Though until this moment, it's seeping with idol worship. And then God says, because if you don't do that, and not only you don't do that because you want to rebel against God, because you feel, I'm a merciful person, I care, let, let me try to be nice to people, I'm not hurtful, I don't uh, break, I don't uh, kill, I don't... So God says you should know that the cancer and growth of idol worship will grow on you. And then eventually, I will have to throw you out of the land in the same way that I'm throwing them out of the land. Because this holy land of Israel cannot tolerate idol worship. And if we look at this statement, where God gives a reason of why he will not tolerate idol worship, or what will happen to the Jews, I think it gives us a very good insight into understanding about various things that we try to make happen in our lives. And we all pray all the time and ask, and people actually go to synagogue and pray and write letters to the Rebbe and others and ask for many things to happen. I want this blessing. I want wealth. I want health. I want uh, to achieve this. I want to achieve that. I want all these good things to happen to my life. And there's no question God would love all of these things to happen in all of our lives. But as we know, Amongst Hasidim, whenever we ask for a bracha, for a prayer for our, on our behalf, we always associate it with an action. Meaning, am I creating the right environment for that prayer to come true? Because if I pray for something, but I don't have the right environment, it may not be able to come true. I'm repelling the blessing that I'm praying for because I've not created the right state of mind and the right environment within myself and my home for that to happen. And as a Jew, we know our Jewishness is part of who we are. When we pray to God every day for all the things we need, not when something unusual is going on that we need to pray, when everything we need, we have to remember, let's make the right environment, clean the atmosphere from the things that are hurtful to us, not only physically, but spiritually. Surround yourself by things that build up and nurture who you are and what you are. Because that allows for the things you pray for, the blessings you're seeking for, to take hold and to stay. You know, the the blessing of the Kornim, a great blessing. A big part of the blessing is that God says that whatever I bless you already should be protected. Because sometimes for a moment we have the blessing, but if we don't have the right environment, the right state of mind or frame of mind, we don't know how to keep it. We can't hold it. And that's what we really want to do. So there's a, a, a partnership in everything in this world between God and us. God gives the blessing, but we got to hold the blessing. Someone wants to give you a lot of money, but if you have nowhere to put it and he just throws it in the air, it will dissipate. You may touch it for a moment. But if you have a, a wallet, a bag, a purse, all of a sudden you're able to hold on to the money. That's what we have to create for all parts of our lives, our spiritual lives as well. So I want to wish you Shabbat Shalom. May God bless you.
and doing what you need to do. So he can, can get, continue to give his blessings and they will take hold now and forever. We love you all. Catalanic Time Montreal, the Shabbat of Chazak, 8.08 p.m.